We have provided a brief, simple to understand instructional video on best practices on how to properly profile a product using the QFM. By profiling an SKU, you'll be able to use the QFM to its full potential, taking advantage of the system's auto shutoff feature. The QFM control box, located on the inside right panel of the QFM plenum, contains a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is built for use with our auxiliary test probes. We provide you with the digital probes. You will notice that one end is a plug and the other end is a temperature sensor. It is at the very tip of the probe which the temperature is sensed. We also provide 3.5 millimeter jack extension cords. The way that we recommend using the extension cord is to insert the extension cord into the 3.5 millimeter jack which is on the bottom side of the control box. You'll want to be certain that you hear the plug click into place, making sure that the extension cord is seated correctly into the control box. We will now go over to the QFM and I will show you what the control box looks like on the QFM itself. Plug the auxiliary extension cord into the control box, located on the right inside panel of the plenum. Again, making sure that you hear it click into place. Secure the auxiliary extension cord to the racking. You will want to be certain that you'll leave enough slack in the cord, ensuring that you have enough length to reach the pallet for testing. Zip tie the extension cord to the racking to assure that it does not fall off during the setup and testing process. We are now ready to profile the pallet. Step 1. Remove the pallet wrapping. You will want to remove all or as much of the pallet wrapping as possible. If you need to add stability to the pallet, you can rope it off or band it. It is very important that the pallet is stacked in a fashion where the case edges create a nice flush surface to both the side seals and the swing seal on the QFM. Step 2. Select a case for profiling. Best practice is to select a case that is center mass, up and down, front and back, and side to side, and remove the case from the pallet. Step three, open the case to be profiled. Using a box cutter, Carefully open the case and you will once again select the product which is center mass, up and down, front and back, and side to side. Step 4. Insert the probe into the product. You will need to cut open an item within the case and insert the temperature sensor end of the probe into the product, making sure that it is secure and will not fall out. Step 5. Close the case. You will now close the case. Be sure to leave enough slack in the probe plug so that you can plug it into the extension, which is secured to your racking. Step 6. Insert the test case back into the pallet. You will now slide the test case back into the center of the pallet while leaving the probe extension hanging out of the pallet stack. Step 7. Push the pallet up to the QFM. You will now push the pallet up to the QFM, making sure that you have a good seal against the side seals, also known as the vertical seals, and the swing seal. After engaging your pallet against the QFM, you will notice a flashing green LED light. The flashing green LED light signifies that the QFM is running a seal test. If the light turns solid blue after a few seconds, you have a proper seal. If the light does not turn solid blue and continues to flash green, simply adjust the pallet with your pallet jack or forklift to be certain that you have a good seal. Step 8. You will now plug the male end of the auxiliary probe into the female end of the auxiliary extension cord. We hope that you have found our video on best practices for probing and profiling an item 
or SKU to be frozen, chilled, or tempered in the QFM system to be helpful. If you have any additional questions, please reach out by calling 260-234-2151. Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 Eastern. You can also inquire on our website by visiting www.quickfreeze.com.